Hi, Greg here again, and I call this one the L drill. And the whole idea here is to simulate in a game uh, switching the puck from one side of the rink to the other. Uh, totally effective and something that we should do all the time. It also gets your D man thinking about sort of backpedaling or regrouping, making a diagonal pass, and also giving. Uh, this will also give our forwards time to regroup or reposition. They could be coming on a line change or they could have just been caught somewhere deep in the zone and they're coming back. Regardless, it's, uh, it's a great little drill. So the puck starts here. Uh, player number one is going to function as the center. He makes a pass. Uh, the D-men can start a little bit higher here perhaps and they should be uh, skating backwards and handling the puck which is another great skill. Uh, he is going to support on the puck at each pass so he heads to D1 and then he's going to head over to D2 and then finally he's going to break into space up here and receive a pass from uh, a winger if you like. Uh, like I said here earlier these guys should be skating backwards it's a diagonal pass uh, which is harder to intercept and is safer and the idea here is for player number two hopefully D2 is going to put a pass out in front so that he can one time uh, a quick little pass here to uh, our center or player number one who's then going to skate down the ice and have a shot on net. Once this happens and we do this in both ends of the rink on the whistle the drill then reverses itself and player two becomes the center and we just do it in reverse from the other side of the ice. Again a uh, great little drill uh, for creating L's, working on passing and also working on the center supporting on the puck. In a game he might get the pass back from player sorry D number two or even D number one so it just builds good uh, work habits for our centers. Anyways that's my L drill. Take care. Bye.